Hello, my lovely friends. It is Tuesday and I am bringing you, I believe, the last video from my Series 1 Empty Box series. So this was started with a cut file from Paige Evans. I believe it is called Mandala, of all things. Um, it's just a nice frame and I kind of wanted to place where that would be on the page and start some mixed media in order to get messy. So I'm adding a bit of Liquitex uh, gesso and I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go very lightly on some products for um, making a background. So basically I just used some of my light colors. I have a Lindsay Stamp Gang in a soft pink. I also have a Glorious Day Shimmers, which is a, a lovely gold color. And then I also have a little bit of Pop Art Pink from Shimmers, but it's very subtle. So I'm not going to go too heavy handed on this because I wanted to use the products in my empty box and I was down to the wire on that. So. so as you can see, I'm trying to show you some of the names of the Shimmers products that I use. And I see that Lindsay Stamp Gang is kind of making a comeback. I used to buy all of their products when they came out and then... I had so many that I stopped buying them, but I'm noticing a resurge of interest, um, especially from Hip Kit Club. So I don't know if you buy Lindsay Stamp Gang products, but they are lovely. I know Missy Whitten has done some layouts with some of the Magicals. I do have those. I should probably pull them out and use them. Of course, those colors are probably discontinued, but I thought that... I would at least, um, you know, let you know it's a good product. If you want to use it, there's not just shimmers out there. There's not just the cheap artist loft watercolors. There is also a Lindsay Stamp Gang, which is wonderful to work with. And that's what I worked with for many, many years. So I think I'm adding a little bit of an acrylic paint in a creamy ivory. And I'm just going to add splatters to the background. Most of that gets covered up and you don't really see much of it. But I did want it to be a very soft, light background. And I think I accomplished that. I wanted the main focus to be on the photo, of course, but then also on this cut file that I had bought from Paige Evans. So I did cut the cut file out on um, just a generic piece of paper that I wasn't probably going to use for anything else, but it's a nice soft coral color and works very well with the photo. So I was kind of matching the color of the cut file to the picture of my daughter here. And this is a picture of True from, I want to say 2017. I think so. I think it was 2017. Maybe 2018, early 2018. But it's either it's either end of oh I I bet it is early 2018 because she's in a tank top. So um you'll see the picture here in a moment, but she's just radiating beauty and I love the picture. She looks so happy and smiley and She's always down for mom to take a selfie, so <laughs> I love to scrapbook my children. I've recently taken some pictures of London um, that are a little bit unexpected. I tried to kind of stay quiet about uh, things that are going on with London just because there are some big changes coming into her life. So if you think you know... <laughs> Again, I'm questioning you. If you think you know what is up in London's life that is going to be life-changing, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your guess on what's going on with her. So she is my youngest daughter. She's a bit of a wildflower, so she kind of does her own thing. 
I raised both my girls to be quite independent and to think for themselves. Unfortunately, they aren't, well, no, neither one of them are as conservative as I am, let's put it that way. Um, but I think that comes with the generation that they're from and not necessarily their upbringing. Um, I mean, they both have their special qualities, but they just have a little bit different value system than I do. I'm more of a traditionalist, I believe, and they are, you know, a little more free thinking. <laughs> but I did teach them to think for themselves, and I did a very, very good job of that, apparently. So I am backing the photo here with just some scraps from my stash. I love that navy colored background with the large floral print. I believe that is from Amy Tan. I pull in that word celebrate and that's from the Crate Paper Oasis collection. All of this is from the empty box, by the way, other than the cut file and of course the um, background inks, but I was down to the wire. I had very little left, but I think I figured out a nice way to incorporate many bits and bobs that were at the bottom of the box, and I like the way this turned out. It wasn't quite what I had envisioned originally. Um, I think it's kind of, I used that tab that said new memories and there's also like a um, piece of the Paige Evans 6x6 that's kind of in that dark mustard yellow. And that's not my favorite color, <laughs> to be honest with you. So I think that's the part that's bothering me most. I don't end up using this little cut apart that says love you. I'm going to trade that out for a large piece of chipboard from Maggie Holmes. And... Um, add a couple of pieces from the Maggie Holmes chipboard. I got kind of desperate towards the end of this series for additions. I didn't want to use something that did not work, so I would have to pull in other products. But I did manage to use the majority of what was in the box. And if you watched that video on how I emptied the box, you would have noticed there is a new empty box series which is the summer edition and should run for six months starting april 1st so the word pretty is also chipboard i'm trying to remember where that came from but i do know the labels came from pink fresh live more and I believe the ephemera did as well. I'm going to bring in a, a few little floral elements. And, oh, I guess that's it from that collection. The labels and the little floral element I'm going to tuck behind the photo just to the right. Also, this little strip of paper came off of the Paige Evans Turn the Page 6x6 six six paper pad as well as this little strip that you see in that dark mustard yellow that I don't really care for. <laughs> but I guess at the end of the day, I got to use it and I still like the layout. So, you know, it's a give and take, much like real life. That label that you see from the Live More collection, well, not really label, I guess the ephemera piece that you see, I'm going to take that off and I'm going to exchange that for a sticker that is from, let me think, um, oh, it is We Are Memory Keepers, Honey, I'm Home collection. You're going to see me trade that out. Oh, and since I put gesso on the background you do have to glue everything down because it's going to come up on you because gesso seems to not, like, papers do not want to stick to gesso. Paint wants to stick to gesso, so you have to adhere with glue if you gesso the background to make a watercolored background as I've done here. So I'm just gluing those down so they are open up your heart and life is beautiful. 
The one below the word celebrate is choose to be joyful. And she seemed quite happy this day. I also used a little triangle piece that had some floral elements underneath that label. Kind of hard to show up in the video, but it's there. And that was from Citrus Twist Ephemera. And I'm also bringing in some enamel dots that are from Elle's Studio that I had in the empty box. And I really do think this is the last video in that series. Um, I've got like a stack of videos that I've been working on. Life has been super busy. Nephews getting married, uh, friends getting married. Um, my clientele for personal training has increased significantly. It seems like um, I, I'm, I'm really seem to be successful at personal training. <laughs> Who knew? I just had a passion for it on my own. And um, yet it seems to be apparently growing at work. So um, life has been busy. Plus I'm doing a new workshop, which is a booty workshop. So getting your booty and core in line. So trying to figure out choreography, which... Let me tell you, I am not a choreographer. I, I know my skill set, and that is not one of them. So my daughter, the one in this picture, True, she actually taught me how to count and understand music a little bit better because she did 12 years of competitive cheer and four years of high school cheer. And I got to tell you, she is very good at relaying information to me because we're kind of one in the same in many ways, um, personality wise. Of course, she's from a different generation, as I had mentioned before. So um, that's different. But if she explains something to me or I see her do something dancey in a class, it's almost like I'm watching myself and I understand it very quickly. So that helps. And she's been helping me do that so I am bringing in these stickers that I mentioned that were in the empty box and those are we are memory keepers honey I'm home I'm adding the title which is snippets of real life and then her name that you're watching me work on right here that did not want to line up and it just simply <clears throat> spells the word true I don't know why it took me so long. Look, I'm so frustrated. I'm like, this is not sticking. It's popping up. Why can't I get this to lay down? I may even bring in some tweezers because I get so frustrated with lining it up. So I fussed with that for way too long. And look at how messy my hands are. You know, I realize when I go into the gym and I'm talking to people and I've got all this art in watercolor and ink and gesso on my hands. <laughs> it's crazy how messy I get. Um, the word fam is also, or the word, the label fam is also from that We Are Memory Keepers, Honey, I'm Home. And then I'm just using those numbers from that set that say 2018. I'm going to finish up with a little bit more Glorious Day. I think that may still be available at Cheeky Studio, but I've kind of run low on shimmers, and I don't think I'm going to restock those because, honestly, um, they don't sell very well, I guess, because people just go direct to the shimmer site. But that's okay because, you know, Cheeky is about ephemera, and I really... I've been itching to do more design work, so hopefully I will have something for you very, very soon. But this wraps up the Empty Box series number one, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Don't ever quote me because I have a terrible memory, but I love the end result, and I hope you do too. I hope it inspires you, and I hope you give me a thumbs up because that helps other people find me. I will talk to you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye.